Hello YouTube, here's a short video on how to transfer iTunes library to a new Windows 8 computer. Step 1. Copy iTunes library from your old computer. OK, let's get started here by opening up iTunes. And let's go ahead and click on edit. If you don't see edit, click on the drop down arrow and you can toggle uh, the menu bar on and off. And once you do see it, um, just go ahead and click on edit and then click on preferences and then uh, click on advanced tab and uh, what we're interested in is the location of the iTunes media folder in my case mine is located at uh, on my C drive um, at uh, users slash nick slash my music slash iTunes yours may be similar to this or entirely different but make note of where it's located and um, the other item before we get out of here is the um, to put a check mark right here next to the uh, copy files to iTunes media folder when adding to the library. If you have a check mark here, that's cool. If you don't, that just means uh, we have an additional step to do. And uh, I'm going to talk about that in just a few seconds. So let's cancel this out here. And uh, if you have uh, your music files spread all over your computer you know on your desktop and your documents folder and your music folder um, they're not necessarily in your iTunes media uh, folder and um, for demo purposes I put one on a desktop here from the B52's and I'm going to grab it and drop it I'm actually exporting it into um, the iTunes app but it's not in iTunes even though you can see it here it's only a reference or a link uh, between the file that's on the desktop the music file and the uh, iTunes app. Now in order to get it into the iTunes app um, what we have to do is something called uh, con consolidate files and the way we go about doing that is we go up here and we click on file and we click on library organize library and what we want to do is put a check mark next to consolidate files and what this does is it makes a copy of the music files that are on your computer and uh, places them into um, the iTunes library without disturbing or deleting the original files and that's pretty cool I think and uh, once that's checked off just uh, go down here and click on OK and uh, it happened almost instantaneously for me but depending on how many uh, music files you have spread out on your computer it could take a few minutes to a, a few hours so uh, be aware of that alright let's close this out and let's go down here and click on the start menu and we're going to go up to computer now on Windows XP it's called my computer and uh, we're going to go ahead out to the um, drive here where and, and locate the iTunes media folder mine's on my C drive under users um, Nick and then uh, my music and then iTunes and uh, there's my um, iTunes media folder where all my music is at and I'm gonna right click and go up and click on copy and that copies the iTunes library into my computer's memory so that I can uh, paste it uh, wherever I like and in this case I'm gonna paste it into or on my uh, USB flash drive that I have plugged into my computer and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go over here and right click and uh, make a uh, not make a but uh, paste rather I'm gonna click on paste and uh, that will copy uh, my iTunes library from my computer's memory um, onto my uh, removable uh, USB flash drive. Now, um, one thing to make note of here is uh, be sure that you have a large enough USB flash drive or external drive uh, to accommodate all of your music files. Now, this could take a few minutes to a few hours um, to copy or and uh, to be pasted in onto your drive, depending on how many music files you have. Okay, moving on to step two, copy iTunes library to your new Windows 8 computer. Okay, on my new Windows 8 computer, I'm going to go to my desktop. And then I'm going to go ahead and plug in my USB flash drive into my new Windows 8 computer here. And uh, here I go, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And when I do, I get this prompt up here that says uh, removable disk. Tap to choose what happens with removable drives. And uh, then I get these three choices here. Um, and the one that I would normally pick would be open folder to view files uh, within File Explorer. But if you don't get this prompt, that's okay because uh, you can go down to the Windows 8 taskbar and click on the File Explorer icon. 
and that will go ahead and open up the um, window for file explorer and then I can highlight my uh, by clicking on the removable USB drive here and uh, I can go ahead and uh, click on my iTunes uh, folder which is on my USB flash drive and I can right click and uh, you know go ahead and make a copy of this I'm gonna click on copy now I have it in my computer memory um, on my new Windows 8 computer and I'm gonna go ahead and minimize the file explorer for now I'll come back to it in a few minutes um, I'm going to assume that you have iTunes installed on your new Windows 8 computer. If not, um, download and install it. And once you have it installed, um, what we want to do is go ahead and go over and open up iTunes. And then go up and click on Edit on the menu bar. And if you don't see the menu bar up here, click on the down arrow up here and you can toggle it on and off or um, hide and show. Once you see it, um, go ahead and click on Edit, Preferences and then uh, over to the right click on advanced tab and we want to take a look here and make sure we know where the location of our iTunes media folder is mine's in uh, C, C drive um, slash user slash Nick slash music slash iTunes um, slash iTunes media and I'm gonna click uh, cancel because I don't want to make any changes and now I'm gonna uh, go ahead and close iTunes because I can't make changes to the iTunes folders when it's uh, still open Okay, um, I'm going to go back out to the File Explorer here, and um, I'm going to go ahead and go to the location on my hard drive where my iTunes media folder is located, and that would be on my C drive under Users, under uh, Nick, under uh, My Music, and then uh, iTunes. And as you can see, um, iTunes media folder is here, but uh, this is a new installation, and they're empty. However, yours may not be empty and uh, please be sure to read the uh, warning that's being displayed on the screen right now. Okay, um, like I said, this is a new installation for me, so um, I'm able to go ahead and delete these, uh, delete the iTunes folder by right-clicking on it and um, going up and clicking on Delete. Now, that has removed the new installation of the iTunes media folder off of my uh, new computer and I can now go over here and right click and say paste um, from my computer memory um, the, I, the old iTunes media folder from my old computer which I copied onto my USB uh, flash drive and copied it into my computer memory. Now that happened relatively fast on my computer because I only had a few songs that I was bringing over from my old computer um, into my new computer. Now yours could be um, a few minutes or a few hours depending on how many songs you're bringing over to your new computer. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, close out File Explorer here, click on the X, and let's find out if I was successful in uh, bringing those songs into iTunes on my Windows 8 uh, computer here. And yes, I was. Um, we have success. They're all here from my old computer, and uh, they're in my new computer now, so that's cool. All right, um, that's it for this video. Be sure to click on subscribe to see more videos like this one.